Do we exist or is everything else in the universe an illusion? There have been many interpretations over time that challenge the reality of our universe. Some say that we are part of a dream. Some say that we are acting out a pre-written story like a theatrical play or a movie. And some believe that we are in a game-like simulation. There is also the philosophical question of what reality even is. Welcome to Space News Unfold. Today, we dive deeper into the universe and investigate if it is even real. Are we even real? John Closer, Alan Aspect, and Anton Zillinger are responsible for grasping the concept of reality in our cosmos as we have long acknowledged it. What is reality? And is the universe we live in a fantasy? If the universe is so enormous and there are possibly trillions of planets in it, then why haven't we found life on any of them? The James Webb Space Telescope is peering into various periods of our universe by simply catching photons, and a lot of what it shows does seem like a fantasy. The implications of the empirical breach of Bell's inequality have been the subject of discussion among both physicists and philosophers. The physicists say that the empirical violation of Bell's inequality is proof that the world is non-local, and that this suggests that the special theory of relativity might be incorrect. It has been suggested by philosophers that this issue might be sidestepped by abandoning a realistic interpretation of quantum mechanics, however, what exactly does it mean to say that the world is non-local? In scientific parlance, real indicates that things continue to have characteristics even when no one is around to watch them. For example, if a tree were to fall in the forest, it would still create a sound even though there would be no one present to hear it. Even if no one is looking at it, a strawberry can still appear to be red. This is similar to what Albert Einstein once famously said to a friend of his, do you honestly believe the moon is not there when you're not looking at it? Being local means that objects can only be influenced by their surroundings, and no influence can travel faster than the speed of light. For example, a supernova exploding 100 billion light years away can't frighten a bird into flight, but the roar of a tiger nearby can. However, there is a problem with the way that these two concepts are often used interchangeably. Research carried out in the field of quantum physics has led to the discovery that both of these events simply cannot be real. There is a third concept in classical physics known as causality, and it states that events do not occur at random, rather they are a direct result of a chain of preceding events. A person who is strolling through the park will not suddenly fall to the ground, rather there must be a reason for their tumble such as them tripping, being pushed by someone else, or even slipping on a banana peel. However, quantum functions have suggested that one of these three concepts is not true. The difficult part is that we do not know which of these is fake. Quantum entanglement is the key to solving this puzzle of time and space, which is the biggest mystery in the universe. No matter how far apart they are or what lies in between them, the simplest explanation of quantum entanglement could be that aspects of one particle of an entangled pair depend on aspects of the other particle. The easiest analogy of such a pair would be socks. A left sock is always paired with a right one, otherwise something won't feel right. These subatomic particles could be electrons, photons, or any other particles of a similar nature, and by aspect, it is referring to, in 1935, Einstein and other prominent scientists of the day, such as Badulski and Rosen, expressed their disagreement with quantum mechanics. This seems to suggest that the particles communicate with each other through some means that move faster than the speed of light, but according to the law of physics, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. They claim that a particle predicting something about its pair in entanglement over a significant distance accurately every time is absurd, because the odds of doing so, even 200 times in a row, would be 1 in 10 to the power of 60, which is a number greater than all the atoms in our solar system. To many scientists, it seemed that something was missing in these calculations. They theorized that some hidden variables determine the state of a particle before measurement. This is where Irish physicist John Bell comes in. Bell created an equation that is now known as Bell's inequality, 
which led to the experiments carried out by John Clough. According to Dave Baum, various interpretations of quantum physics have been attempted in an effort to solve this question. There must be a predetermined script for the functionality of the cosmos, and that means that anything that is not local must be affecting the state of a particle. Hence, locality must be an illusion since there must be a predetermined script. Copenhagen's interpretation contends that since the cosmos is not precisely predetermined until it is witnessed, realism must be incorrect. The many worlds hypothesis is another one, and it asserts that the concept of causality is an optical illusion. According to this theory, there must be an endless number of universes and every possibility takes place simultaneously in different universes. This means that realism does not work locally and there is also no conflict with special relativity which prohibits faster than light communication. The experiments that were conducted by the physics Nobel laureates of 2022 were conclusive in ruling out the existence of hidden variables, a mysterious attribute that would predetermine the states of entangled particles. It suggests that Copenhagen's interpretation is the most likely possibility and that realism is an illusion. But that doesn't shut the door on David Bowen's interpretation either, as there was a slight limitation to these experiments conducted by the three scientists. The experiments were conducted and observed locally, so until we can be sure that locality is not an illusion, there is a decent chance that we may be living in a simulated universe where pre-written fate awaits us all. Until we can be sure, locality is not an illusion. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Keep looking up at the sky. Huh? What is that? It's the subscribe button. Now you are watching it. Click on it and make sure you don't miss out on any James Webb Space Telescope updates. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on to another space adventure. See you there.